Good morning. Today is going to be a special smoking session. We are going to smoke a pork butt. I'll show you how to do it every step of the way. It's nice and easy. And as an added bonus, there is a blizzard warning today. First step is a light coating of mustard. This isn't really going to affect the flavor at all. This is just going to help bind that rub and hold those spices in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the Cosmo Cues. Nice heavy coating in there. I'm gonna get all of this pork butt covered and coated. And let this sit for a little bit, and we're gonna fire up the smoker outside. First things first, we're gonna have to dig her out. A dog is helping me. Okay, I will be doing this pork butt smoke on my Horizon Classic 16. We are up to temp. I'm hoping to maintain around 225, 250 for the full cook today. We're gonna throw on this pork butt. Right. Oh, this smells good. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. It is coming along very nice. All right, I just spritzed it with that red wine and it is looking fantastic. One other trick I do to keep the meat nice and tender is besides spritzing it with the red wine, I'll come and hit it with some spray butter. Okay, we are at 165. I just added wood. As you see, the temp has dropped to 210. But at 165, the meat is generally no longer going to take in smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it now. Hey. Go ahead and pull that temp probe out. And guys, this thing is looking good. Gotta be careful because what I just did, how I dropped it like that, can actually damage the bark you produce, which is kind of that black outer coating. So what I'm going to do is give it another shot of butter. That bark is looking good. It smells good. And I'm just going to pour a little more of my red wine in. Usually I had spritz, but I actually don't have the bottle with me. Try to wrap it tight. Okay, put that in. I'm gonna keep this one. This will be my ambient temperature probe. Give that one. All right. So that pork butt is cooking good out there, but sometimes you gotta make an audible, and I am making an audible today. Um, the storm has passed but the temperatures behind it are plummeting now and the wood's starting to pick up a little bit. So that means I am burning through my wood splits a lot quicker than normal. And since I already have the pork butt wrapped, it doesn't make any sense for me to keep it out on the smoker because it can't take any more smoke. And all I'm doing is burning through uh, more wood splits. 
So what I'm going to do is set the oven for 250 degrees and I'm just going to finish it off in the oven and like I said it won't change anything about the smokiness or anything like that because once it's wrapped all you're doing is going for tenderness and moisture buildup and um, so it just won't matter. Alright, now we'll just let that preheat and we'll transfer that pork butt into the oven. Alright, good to go. Alright, my goal is usually right around 203. And it's feeling very tender. That pork butt is done. Secret ingredient, honey. Look at that. We will just give it a quick hit of the seasoning. Cosmo Q's Killer Bee. So the pork butt is all done. Let's see how we did. There's a lot of juice in there and it smells fantastic. Oh yeah. Ooh, is that juicy? Look at that. This juice is just pouring out. That is going to be an awesome pork butt. Okay. So I have my bear claws here. Don't really know how I feel about these. Sometimes I think they work really good, other times uh, not so much. Sometimes I prefer just to use a fork, but uh, today we'll give these a go again. Oh, pretty much zero effort here. Man, does that smell good. There it is, look at that pork, looks awesome. Some of you might be asking why I do not have barbecue sauce on this. I am under the opinion, if you smoke something really well, uh, barbecue sauce tends to cover up the smoky flavorings. So I usually never put it directly on my meat, uh, unless it's like ribs or something. Um, but I will put it on like a sandwich or something like that. Okay, let's build this sandwich. A German Shepherd here is trying to get a piece herself. All right, first thing we're gonna use is this everything bagel bun. I really like these. Throw some of that pork butt on. Gosh, this smells good. Really loaded up. That looks good. Gonna hit it with some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is not my first choice of barbecue sauce, but I figured this is most likely what you guys will have on stock, and this is what I had on hand. All right, boy, is that looking good. I'm gonna, th I love heat. I love heat and I love spice, so I'm gonna throw on some of this Carolina Reaper cheese. Top that off with a few pickles. Perfect pork butt sandwich. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I would love to sit here and chat, but I wanna eat this sandwich. Like and subscribe and you'll have more videos coming. Thank you.